Hey, good morning. My name is Armand, and today my wife and I are going to be flying to San Diego, California, from New York, para visit ng uncle and wife ko. And we will be celebrating our fourth wedding anniversary there as well. And para din makapag unwind from the hectic schedule of a nurse working here in New York. My wife is also a nurse working here in New York. So, mayon, the reason why I'm making this video is para. I share ko lang naman kung ano yung camera na gagamitin ko on this trip. Just to give you a context, before, kapag nagsa-travel kami, like, ang dala ko, mostly, my bag is filled with camera gears. Like, that long camera body, tapos lenses. And then, I have a, I have a one camera that I always carry with me. Like, it's my everyday carry camera. Like EDC. Ending, yung mga nasa bag ko, yung mga camera ko sa bag, I don't use it at all. Ang ginagamit ko lang yung camera ko na lagi kong, laging nasa labas lang. The best camera that you have is the one that's with you. The, the best camera is the one that's with you. I think that's how it goes. That camera is actually the Fujifilm X100F. Yeah, it's not the latest one. It's a predecessor. But I love this camera. About maybe 80 to 90% of the photos that I post from our travels are taken with this camera. Okay, so what's the reason why I'm dami dami kong dalang camera before? In my head, I'm like, I'm gonna bring this camera with me to shoot some video. This one is for photos. Oh, maybe I'm gonna take some portrait. Pero pagdating sa place na pupuntahan namin, we travel to other state. What? Ang hirap niyang kuhanin sa bag. <laughs> and minsan, naihiiwan na lang siya kung saan kami nagsistay na hotel. Kasi, ang bibigat niya, to be honest with you. Not unless you're doing it for like a gig or a photography gig or something like that. Okay lang eh. But if you're uh, just traveling, this type of camera is gonna be best for you. Okay? Bakit? So, nakasave ka na. So, ang pinaka, pinaka malaking abala having all those interchangeable lens, mirrorless camera, yung mapapalit-palitan ng lens is yung lens mismo. So, for example, itong Tamron, so, Tamron 28-75 f2.8 is so much heavier than this camera. So, this is a fixed lens camera. Okay? I'm not gonna be talking about the specs of this camera, but I'm just gonna be sharing why I love this camera. Alright? So, fixed lens camera. I don't have to think about what lens I'm gonna use because again, it's fixed. It's a 35mm equivalent f2 lens and it's very sharp. If you're familiar with the Fujifilm uh, film simulations, it's just like it's already edited sa camera pa lang ito. So you don't have to go to your computer or to your phone to like adjust things. But if you're like me, I'm still gonna adjust a little bit about it. But one of my favorite is yung Velvia, yung mga uh, Astia, yung uh, Classic Chrome, which is really really nice, trendy, okay. But you don't actually have to use that one. You can use any camera as long as satisfied ka naman sa results na nakuha. It's just that I have this camera and I love it. Okay, I love using it. It, those are just some of the reasons why I love this camera. I'm not gonna talk about all the specs. I'm not gonna be going, we're not gonna be going to San Diego to take some professional photo or a gig. We'll be going there to make some memories, to meet with people, to enjoy the company of my wife and her uncle. Now, first time kong mami meet, by the way. So I'm looking forward to that one. So now, I'm gonna be packing my bag. I'm only gonna have two batteries with this one. I'm not gonna be shooting videos with this because nowadays, phones are so good in taking videos. So I'm not gonna be bringing any camera to take some videos. I'm just gonna use my phone. Pure photography camera for me. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't shoot video. Bago ko pala tapusin yung video to. I just wanna mention na it has a built-in ND filter. So sobrang maliwanag. You know, sa mga nakakalam, ND filter para siyang salamin sa camera mo. You can just activate that one. So I, act, uh, I actually customized this button here to be the trigger for the ND filter. I think it has two, two stops or three stops. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But it's good enough for me so that I don't have to stop down 
para makakuha ko ng mga blur blur background effect. The second, use this 35mm lens for portrait and for landscape. Depende na lang sa creativity mo. You don't have to think about what lens to use. You just have to think about the moment. Think about the composition. Now just, okay. Ang camera nito, meron siyang leaf shutter. For those who care about the leaf shutter, napakaganda. Because if you're, if you want to use some um, tiny, tiny, low power flash, you can actually overpower the sun. Not overpower, but you can like expose and broad daylight. Dahil sa leaf shutter niya, kasi hindi mo na kailangan mag high speed sync. So for sa iba, alien to, but you know, for those who actually know, that if you're using high-speed sync, you need more power to compensate against the broad daylight. But dahil sa leaf shutter, niya, I can use the smallest flash that I have. It's a flash cube. It's already in the bag. Um, so I, I just put it in. I'm gonna take a picture with it. Broad daylight. I can still like have some flash photography. So I can expose my subject or my wife. That's gonna be my wife. She's always my subject. <laughs> so that's just it for me today. Uh, I just wanna share what camera I'm gonna be using, and this is actually the this is always the camera that I'm using when I'm traveling. And will I upgrade to the newer version? I don't think so. This is good enough for me. I'm not that good of a photographer to maximize those high tech. I'm just you know. Simple guy, simple photographer. Just want to take some, make some photo. All right, you have a great day. Bye. Nah. That's right. Yeah.